what I'm excited to cover with you today is a new introduction by uh, Facebook. They launched, Mark Zuckerberg launched it in May, uh, a few weeks ago. So I'll be sharing with you uh, a lot about what it is, how does it work, and uh, why, why you should care. So just to cover a few things, if you're, um, if you're new to Zoom and Zoom webinars, you have functions that you have access to. So you could, uh, you could go ahead and click on any point in time, you can click on the question and answer uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the bottom side, and I'll be able to, to, to go through your questions. Or if you want, you can raise your hand, and towards the end, I will go ahead and uh, unmute, uh, remove the mute, you'll be able to talk, and I'll be able to answer a few questions. Um, what we're doing together today is um, we're going around 30 minutes, all right? So I'll be talking more, uh, just a brief introduction about me and why I'm able to cover this topic with you. Uh, we'll be talking more about the uh, topic of the session. And then towards the end, I will be sharing a, a poll to ask you for your feedback on specific things that you liked and didn't like and what more content that you want to see uh, more of as well as questions. So I also want to give enough time for uh, questions towards the end, uh, either in, in written questions that, that you ask or in audio questions, right? So my area of specialty is working with business owners to help them grow their business. And that's why I look for uh, certain topics that uh, play a significant role. And hence the topic today, which is the uh, Facebook shops. I feel it's, a, it's an important topic related to how business owners can grow their business. And uh, what I've been doing as well is I've, I've already started raising awareness about this uh, because I know it's gonna, if, if you're trying to sell any product or service online, this is, some, this is a tool that you're gonna have to figure out and learn how to use and why and if it makes sense to you or not. And um, so I, I'm raising awareness about this uh, on, on TV and online sessions and, and, uh, and sessions like this. All right, so uh, what we're gonna look at uh, together today is the importance of Facebook shops and why you should care. Uh, if I was really to summarize what Facebook shops really is, you know, if you wanna look through all of the hype and all of the details and all of the functionality, it's a way for your business to, shut up, to set up a shop, to sell products and services directly via Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Messenger. And it, that's it, that's the bottom line. It's a way for you to sell your products and services and it gives you uh, your shop to do that. And the key elements of it, there are so many things in it, but the key elements for you to keep in mind, it's the storefront. So uh, the storefront, so when somebody comes visits you, the same way if you have your physical store and somebody you know, looks at your, uh, uh, the glass window and sees what you have or on your website. So that's your storefront. The second component, and we'll be covering uh, that in our session today is discovery. So how people find you via paid ads. Support for payment is a big one as well. And you'll see how the built-in payment part reduces many friction steps the, uh, that your customers will have when trying to buy from you. Communication. So being that it's integrated with WhatsApp and Messenger. And for, the, for those of you who have already started to sell online, you get to see that People will WhatsApp you and, and DM you asking you about things, even if they're written in front of them on the product or on your website, they will ask you about those. And then they also have integration with third party. And we'll talk more about how you can integrate that in terms of shipment. Now, um, a key differentiator as well for you to keep in mind, the mistakes so many people uh, that I see when they try to sell online is they focus on their website as a key driver of this because I think it's, they're in love with the concept of um, we, I open up my store and I put my products and then people are gonna find it and buy it. I just, I can do my thing on the side and I can go to the beach. I can look at other parts of my business and the whole thing will run itself. And it never is the case. I don't trust any of the YouTube videos that tell you about passive income or going to this island somewhere and making some money uh, while you know, your website sells, sells itself. No matter how powerful and detailed and fast loading your website is, you people will need to find you and they find you via social media ads, very simply Facebook, Instagram, and others. So that's, the, that's the, the most effective way for people to find you. So don't go the long way around of investing so much time and effort in your website and then going to the social media part. With Facebook shops, you're able to take the shortcut straight into selling when then your actual social media. So this way it's, it's in one place. 
And this is an important product. So, so Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, is very personally involved in this. So he announced this on May 19th, which is, you know, a few days ago. And this is uh, something that is, uh, he has expressed uh, in his live video that he shared and this that's very important to him. And it's also partly because during the current situation of the business realities set by COVID-19, so many businesses are either out of business or struggling to move from uh, to online, from offline to online, or if they're online, they're struggling to sell. So this is something that he's personally spending a lot of time in. And this is an early, it's clear, it's an early version of it, but they have teams behind it. So you, you'll get to see month by month uh, improvements across the different aspects of it. And this is going to be available in the uh, Middle East, in the MENA region in June and July. So you're part of the team, people that are looking now to see how it works much so before it becomes available. So let's look at what it, what it looks like. All right. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very simple format for those who are usually active on social. So uh, this is an example of what it would look like here when you click on view shop, you have specific themes, if you wish. So catalogs, you look at them as catalogs. And when you click on it, when a user clicks on your catalog, they have their sub products. And then when you click on the products, you have, you go through that. So it's a, it's a full storefront that has the different collections that you have and the different products you have, the pricing, um, availability, the delivery fees and so on. So it's, this is your full storefront in a, in a, in a, a simple to use interface. I'll show you a, a brief video of, of, of what it looks like as well. So the shop will be across the family. Um, so uh, um, anytime you have questions, please fill in the Q and A uh, in the tab that you have, and, I, and I'll answer those. Um, so it will be across Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. If you've noticed, Facebook has been releasing many features such as Messenger rooms and so on across all of the platforms. If you recall two years ago, they made a public commitment to unify their platforms. So that's a deep technical infrastructure that was being built two years ago that they're starting to reap the benefits of now where they're able to read, to, to make available features uh, to us as businesses or users all the way through uh, the, the, different, the different products that they have. Now let's talk about the availability uh, uh, in, in the MENA mean, region. And uh, Facebook in the Middle East is active and playing a big role in making sure that businesses have this. And uh, I've been in touch with Facebook and thank you. I know uh, one of them is, is, is here on the call. I, 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 I wanna, respective privacy on the call, but thank you for sharing the relevant information here that we're starting to make available uh, uh, public gradually. So this product will be available to the Middle East now in June, July, in, around the corner. It's not in a six months or a week or, 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 or a year. And uh, so it will be available across the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Egypt, and Morocco. So today, if you go there, you get to see that these features are currently unavailable in your region. They will be. And give, give, it, give it a few weeks. Um, and since this is a new product globally affecting everybody, there still is some uh, vagueness, but, but this information will continue to surface. So for example, is it available to, to everybody or not? My theory is it will be available to, to, to everybody who has a store. Uh, it might be for something called the managed Facebook partner where you need to have a point of contact on Facebook, you need to have a certain size, a certain ad budget expertise and commitment and so on. My feeling is gonna be available to everybody. That will be clearer in the next few weeks. The support for payment, uh, that's, that's a big one as well. Uh, that will have more clarity on this in the coming few weeks once it starts to be available to us in the region. Payment, there are two parts of payment that you have to keep in mind when you look into this on your own or if you wanna ask me about that later in a few weeks. First is collecting money from your customer. How will they pay you? And the second part is actually clear and getting the payment from Facebook to your local bank. And I'll talk more about what local banks need to do uh, in order to support this. So money from the customer to Facebook shops and then from Facebook shops 
to you. And then from the language interface perspective, uh, there was no explicit mention of Arabic support in the interface. But if I'm looking at the historical uh, functionality that Facebook has reached across this platform, it has always included Arabic in it. So I'm, I'm also guessing that uh, uh, that that is going to, going to be there. Um, Sabine, you're asking about the importance of social media ads within Facebook shops. I have a specific slide for this that, 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 that I'll, I'll, I'll be sharing with you uh, in a bit. Thank you for asking that. Now, I think one of the key success factors when you look at Facebook shops, again, don't go into the features of functionality and be lost there. One of the key aspects that you need to th think of why this is this would be a successful endeavor for Facebook as well as you as a business owner running this is it removes steps and reduces friction. These two are what lead to a higher sales that you have. The steps that a customer needs to take and the friction on those steps. We've all dealt with companies that are not ready for online. You know how it is. They call you 20 times. They email you six times. They send you the wrong thing. You have to pay and, and then follow up on things that it's messy. So that means there are steps and there is friction. Anytime they call you or you call them and so on. So the more steps there are, the more friction there is, the less likely you are to, to buy from them again. What's important about a Facebook shop, and when I say Facebook shop, I'm looking at about the family of Facebook. So the blue app, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger is the reduction of steps. So today, what happens is, uh, so Sabine, you run an online ad, all right? So you run an online ad on Facebook and Instagram. Your user clicks on it and you take them to the website. The website means it's a mobile page. So if you notice, you know, it's, within Instagram, there's a mobile page that opens and you have to wait until it loads. And then if a customer likes your thing, they, he or she has to sign up. Uh, they have to fill in info about credit card, the shipping address, and then they place the order. So it's, you have steps. If you do the same process via the Facebook shop, the number of steps have been significantly reduced and so, so here, the online ad it takes you straight to the Facebook shop. So there's no, and it, and it loads instantly. So there's no, it, you don't leave to go to a mobile page. It loads instantly with the product there, and then you place an order. I'll show you this video now, and I'll let it run once for you to see the whole thing, and then I'll zoom into step-by-step -step for you to really understand how this works. I'll go through this again to explain. So here, when you're looking at, so this is your Instagram page, right? You see, you have your view shop here and you have your products. So you get to see your products have a nice little icon here that differentiates it from your regular posts. So when somebody clicks on, on your regular posts, you have the shopping icon here and that shows the product. And when they click on the product, that's your page. If this is the similar of what you have on your website where you have your product page, your title, how much it costs, uh, your shipping policy and so on. And then when this is purchased, so here, notice here, so it has all the information before you, uh, before the customer places the order. So there's, there's nothing hidden, you're not hiding anything from your customer. How much it costs, what, what's the tax, they have different shipping options. And if you notice the user was not asked to sign up, Facebook knows who, Facebook and Instagram know who, she, who he or she are. They're not asked to submit an address. They're not asked to submit their credit card. Obviously they do this once for, for any purchase that they have anywhere. So if they bought from somebody else, they have that information stage saved. And when they click, click on place order, halas, mabruk, you're done. You have the sale and the customer will get their product shipped. So this is the reduction of friction and the number of steps versus relying 100% on your website. I'm not saying throw away your website, but I'm saying this, there is a significant advantage of you being able to do this via the shop. One last thing I wanna, I wanna, I wanna point out as well is a live shopping feature. You're gonna see this a lot. You know those influencers that you thought it was a fad, they're gonna go away? They're not. 
those that you love to hate publicly, but you don't miss any of their videos, those same influencers, you're going to be seeing them in your stream, talking about the product and telling you it's down, it's, it's down below, swipe up and down and click on it and view product. They're going to point out the, you know, you know, the, the, the way they usually do. They're going to do that and they're going to sell you products and we're going to buy. I'm going to be one of the first people to buy. So, so here you have Miss Influencer, whoever he or she that, he, that you love or love to hate. And they're going to be doing a product demo. It could be the makeup stuff that you always see. But what will happen is below the makeup product is actually the product itself that he or she is selling. It could be perfume, it could be hats, it could be clothing, whatever, whatever it is. So he or she are sharing it. So this is the digital equivalent of, you know how it is on TV where, when, when you, know, you have dedicated TV channels where people call? So, uh, so they, they call and say, uh, so you'd call and say, call us now and buy and so on. So the same way you do with, with TV, this is the digital equivalent of this. So remember, remember when your influencer wants to, wants to push on you some products. Additional features is um, the explore tab. You know how we have the explore tab and we look at other, other accounts that are similar to ones that we have. Um, you'd have a shopping tab. That will be added uh, for people can browse through and find different products based on brands and things that you've bought before and so on. So this assists with the discovery of, uh, of products that you have. Um, loyalty programs. So the same way you have with your own, own store of loyalty program and rewards. So five, you know, five, you know, five tender hams of a purchase and so on. So that is also an aspect coming to, uh, to the business. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a, 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 a few questions on that. So, so Sabine, you asked me about the ads. So the ads that people run, that, that the business will run, will take you either to the shop or specifically straight, it could be straight to the product. So when somebody sees an ad in, in, in his or her feed, Sabine, they click on it, you can take them straight to the product. So there's no loading. The load time is very quick because it's native within Instagram and Facebook. And they'd be, able to, uh, they'd be able to DM you here to ask you about it, or they can go ahead and do this. So yes, the ads will be, because already Facebook has had their own variations of it, like catalog ads and things like this. So they will have their own, which are on the Facebook shop direction of it. Now, let's talk more about how to set it up. I'm gonna show it to you now. I know it's not available yet. It's gonna be available in, you know, hello, you know, across, across you know, June, is, June is around the corner. So I'm gonna just let you see a glimpse of it now and then um, I'll be able to conduct more hands-on sessions later on once, once we have these live. So um, you'd have a shop. So this is how it's done from a, from a, from on a desktop. When you look at adding a, pro a product, it's a simple aspect of pro adding a product where you add photos, you add videos to the product, the name, the price, the description, is it on sale or not? So this is already built in here. If it's on sale or not, is it in stock or not? Uh, is it, uh, uh, and is it new, the product condition and things like this. So you end up sending, adding your product, uh, things like this. So whatever information that you want to add, the pricing and so on. And then uh, when you add your product, you give a little bit of time for Facebook to, to make it available. It needs a little bit of time because Facebook does something in the background where it analyzes, it uses uh, artificial intelligence to analyze the product and I'll, and I'll, and I'll show you more about, about what I mean with that. And then so here you, you get to look at, this is an example uh, of what it would look like. So you can message, you could message, so your users, customers can message you to, to buy. So they're gonna ask you, do you have this in this color? Do you deliver here? Can you do this and so on? So there are different ways for you to, to interact uh, with, with your customer uh, based on that. So I'll show you real examples of people who have already started to use it. This is part of the initial launch of Facebook. And we're the owners of Inkweeds Paper. We're a letterpress and paper goods company. We print on antique for youth equipment, and we're really big proponents of the handwritten note. The shift to selling online, especially in the light of what's happening now with COVID-19, I think is absolutely vital. And I think businesses, small businesses, all businesses, um, recognize the importance. Facebook and Instagram represent one of the biggest ways that we visually communicate our brand to our audience and connect with them. Being able to highlight products that are in those shots just makes it that much easier for people to connect with. So they can see a product that they like, they can touch that product and add it to their bag right there. So it really is a true shopping experience. 
process of setting up our Facebook shop went really smoothly. It's very well designed. Adding products was quite straightforward. They've got a great UI to simply add products one by one or import products through an XML file straight from our e-commerce site, which really helped us get a fully fleshed out store. One of the features with Facebook Shops was the ability to set up collections. It allows us to kind of keep a collection going that is kind of new and fresh to when our customers pop over, that they're seeing a constant update of new products. I think it's so helpful to be able to set up Facebook and Instagram shops at the same time. You know, Facebook and Instagram have allowed a lot of humanity in this experience as we've connected with our customers because we can't see them or hug them or shake their hands when they come into our store. Uh, but we can speak to them um, and speak to the real just human nature of what's going on and where we all find ourselves. So I'm going to point out a couple of couple of key things in this video. So your collection. So your collection is is the theme of products. So it's a summer look, a spring look, a set, a set of products, things like this. So you, you have a collection title name and description with a cover image. This is the cover image. If the the yellow with a smiley. This is the one uh, that that goes out here. One of the features with Facebook Shops. So here you're able to manage the different collections that you have and the covers here. And you can see here how when you whatever you change and modify here, you get to see a preview of it. So this is the theme of the of the collection here. And then there are small customizations that you can do. Like uh, you can you can you can look at the color of the button. So the, the button here by default is white. You can change it to a different color. You can make it as a larger button, whatever it is. And what's nice is is it pub it publishes across Facebook and Instagram. And eventually, it's going to be onto onto WhatsApp as well. And if you already have, or if you're bigger than this, and you already have a Shopify uh, uh, website for selling, Shopify have a, a, a partnership with Facebook. So on the announcement. Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, had as a guest the founder of Shopify on the announcement of Facebook Shops. So they have a close relationship together. Because keep in mind, Shopify, you can use it for more things such as inventory management and a bunch of other things. So uh, you, if, if, if you use Shopify, you have here a sales channel, there's something called Facebook, and you can connect your Facebook account and it will populate your products. So you can synchronize your products. You can, so when you can continue to upload them onto, onto Shopify and it will synchronize them to your, to your Facebook shop and you can specify what you want to sync, sync and what you don't want. And um, so the shopping experience, so you can see your shopping. So what you can do inside of shops is discovery, consideration and checkout. Uh, the shopping logistics and customer support, those are something that you have to take care of outside of this. But what Facebook shops did is they have... Uh, these are open platforms. So basically, uh, the local couriers in the UAE and Saudi Arabia and the countries where it's going to be available, they can, if they choose to, to do the effort to integrate. This way, when your customer actually buys and they say, I want to do a standard shipment, you can send it directly to your, uh, to your courier, but that requires a courier locally that you use to actually integrate with that. Um, there's some valuable information that Facebook will get. And they will use that to improve the algorithm and to, and to unlock more targeting capabilities to us as advertisers. So one is now they will have access to business inventory. So what are categories of products? What inventory levels do we have? How frequently do we buy something? Uh, how fast? So if you, if, if you make an inventory available at 8 a.m., is it, is it sold out the same day? Is it sold out within a few hours? Is it sold out within a month? They will also have purchase data who buys what and how frequently. So that means you can, you can then target people who actually tend to buy online, not those who are still afraid to use a credit card. Even post a COVID-19 world, they're terrified of using a credit card online. Those are not your custom. So here with Facebook has this purchase data, you can select people who are likely to buy. They also have a fancy thing called GrokNet AI. What it does is it analyzes clothing, it analyzes items if it's makeup and so on, and it's able to know what, what it is and tag it and distribute it. And also what, what, uh, what can happen is in terms of uh, um, additional functionality that I wanna point out that, that will come down the line is if you're a male ap uh, uh, approaching a certain page, 
you can personalize it. So you can say that for the males coming to my page, I want to show them these types of products because they tend to buy these types of products. If it's a female coming to my page, she would tend to buy these products. So you can also, that's not there now, but there, that will be available. That was hinted to be available. Where you'll be able to, to customize the products that you have, uh, that you show on display. Keep in mind, you always have hundreds and thousands of SKUs of items. So this way you'll be able to, to bubble up the 10, 12, 8 ones that, that people, people will actually uh, sell. All right, I have a couple more things here, but I wanna, I wanna go straight into questions because I felt we've, we've went into a bit more time. So these are common questions I've been getting. Is Facebook Shops free to use? The tools are free to use. So everything I've showed you of how to upload it and do it and so on, there's no minimum monthly payment, there's no subscription fee. The tool is free to use. This is one. Two, there is no revenue share with Facebook. So if you, if you sell something that, that is 100 dirhams or 10,000 dirhams, Facebook does not uh, change the commission structure that they have. There's no revenue share there, but there's a transaction fee. The same way you'd have it for any credit card. So credit card fees could be anywhere with from two and a half to five to 7%, depending on, on, on what, uh, what platform you're using. Uh, it's rumored to be in the case of 5%. So, so if, you don't, if you don't have a single sale for six months, you don't pay anything. If you have a sale of 10,000 dirhams, you pay 5%. If you have a sale of 100 dirhams, you still pay 5%. So it's on a per, per transaction fee. And you have this with any online merchant. So if, you, if you're doing it via your online website or, or, uh, or your bank's merchant, you, all, you will need to pay a transaction fee. Um, keep in mind, Facebook will continue to make most of its money from ads. So those who are, who are super paranoid about Facebook getting their money, Facebook is okay. They have uh, uh, every quarter, they have more than $3 billion in net revenue after paying salaries, expenses, rent. And I've been to their offices in Dublin and Dubai. Those are nice offices and expensive ones. And still they're able to make a $3 billion uh, net in revenue. So they're not worried about the $2 here and $3 here that, that, that you give them. So their money is from advertisements. So uh, don't panic from that, from that regard. Uh, one of the common questions I get is also, can I customize my Facebook shop? Um, you could customize specific things, not everything like your website. So the cover images, the button color, the button size, things like this, but not full customizations. So if you're looking for full customizations, you're gonna to need to do this on your website. Um, so what I'd like to do now is I'd like to go over to some questions. I have a few questions piled up as well that, that, that I'd like to go over those. And also I'll be sharing with you, uh, uh, we'll be sharing a poll as well. I wanna know more about what of what we saw today, what we, what we wanna uh, learn more about? Because Facebook Shops is very deep and I'll be doing many more of these sessions, but I'd like some guidance from you on what is it that worries you the most uh, from the below. And if you don't, if you don't have the, if, you, if, if, if there's something there that worries you that I'd not uh, answer or list there, uh, DM me on Instagram and I'll, and I'll add it to the list. All right, so Sabine is asking, what will Facebook charge for the shopping feature or actually the analytics? Let me bring in, let me bring in Sabine. Sabine, if you're comfortable, I'm gonna unmute you and we will talk. Um, Hey, Sabine, you're on mute. If you want to unmute and talk, that's good. If not, I'll just go ahead and answer your question. That's, it's okay. Let's take him in. All right. So um, Sabine was asking, um, uh, what will Facebook charge for the shopping features or, or the analytics? So they, uh, Facebook will charge for the transaction fee. So if there's a transaction fee that happens, uh, Facebook will charge in the range of 5% but they will not charge for the tools. Uh, they will not charge for the setup. There's no, because if you look at third party tools for website building and so on, they usually have a free feature and then you have to pay 10, 20, 50, hundred dollars a month to unlock their premium features. This is not the case here with, with Facebook because again, the revenue is from ads. Um, so uh, they will charge for that transaction fee. And of course you'll have to put in money for ads. So that, there's no way around it. So, so that's what, that's what they, they will make their, their money. Uh, and why she's asking if, if you can sell as an affiliate. Um, today, there's no information, Washi, about that. I'm assuming it will be there. 
but today there's nothing there's nothing there but i'm assuming that i don't see it difficult to to add because anyway facebook tracks a lot of the stuff anyway so they are able to uh to, to add that but but there's not there's, but there's nothing there uh, there's nothing there now uh all right so uh uh, uh risa is it risa or rice i'm sorry if, if i said that name wrong so uh, rice is asking any goods that aren't allowed to be sold online um well what will not change is facebook has clear policies on what it will allow to sell online or not uh so anything there that is uh, uh that they already don't allow today, they will not allow now. So for example, there are guidelines for anything related to medical, anything related to tobacco, alcohol. Um, so they have a list of guidelines. And if you've run ads in the past on any of the platforms of Instagram and Facebook and your ad will be rejected, uh, uh, Facebook will tell you that you have uh, tripped the uh, policy 3.68, which is about selling medical equipment or whatever. And they will provide guidelines for what you can sell or, or not sell, right? So if it's not, if it's already within the ones that you cannot sell, I doubt that they will be that they'll be able to. to, to I don't think that they, they, they will allow it. All right. Um, so what are the questions you have? You could ask ask those in writing the Q and A or or orally if if you want to be unmuted. Hi Ayman. Hi Sabine. Hi Dashi. Hi Paula. Tamara. Thank you for coming in. Lina. Farah. Uh, all right, to summarize the key aspects for, uh, for this. So the key aspects for anything related to um, Facebook shops, this is a way to, to set up your online shop. You're setting up your online shop very simply through Instagram and Facebook. You're doing this the direct way, not by building a website or pushing people to your website. So paying money on ads and trying to get them to your website and hoping that they buy there. You're doing it exactly within, within that, uh, within uh, what you have, within, within your network. And uh, this is one. Two, um, the journey itself is super, super simple now. So I'll show you the before and after. So sorry for what we were sharing. So the journey itself is much, much simpler than what it is, all right? So uh, it is, uh, it used to have many steps. Now it's much less, much less in terms of steps. So less steps and less friction. Yeah, that will, that's a higher chance of, of buying because we have to do what we need to do to get to facilitate the sales process for our customers. Uh, the third key takeaway that this is coming to, to the MENA region, all right? So this is coming to uh uae saudi arabia lebanon egypt and morocco in june and july it's a gradual rollout uh, in in our markets it's gonna be here in you know, june across you know, plus a few days we'll, we'll, we'll be there so that will be available there so you are one of the uh, one of the people that are getting access early to this and you and you're learning on the session today things that others have are, have not heard about or are still speculating about so Start early. You know, always you have an early, early mover, uh, mover uh, advantage. And yes, Ayman, the sales funnel is definitely, definitely reduced. When you look at the process here, uh, what Ayman is referring to, Ayman Salim, not Ayman, Ayman Aitani. So uh, uh, what, what Ayman is referring to is the sales funnel that we struggle with as when you sell. When you sell is you want to get people to look at you, find your product, click on it to see it. Then they want to think about it and then they need to sign up. They need to buy and so on. So when I advise business owners and we look at the funnel, at every step we, you lose people. Mustahil, there's no way around it. So if you ask them to sign up, you're losing some people there. If you ask them to pay, you, you add a credit card, not safe. You're, so every step of the funnel, you lose people. Here, you have much less uh, bottlenecks when it, when, it, when, it, when it comes to that. And... Uh, uh, and setting it up, uh, in Washi, for, for your concern, is there's no skill set. So if you're able to set up your Facebook page or Instagram page before, you're set, you, know, you should be fine. And then, uh, practically, if you, what you need to know, be comfortable with is uploading images, having type the titles for your products, your product description. So nothing super complex that requires a developer or, uh, or, or, or something, or some, or something in, 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 in that direction. Um, what else I want to point out as well. So those are the key aspects, and, and, and we're going to get fun stuff down the line. You can serve a mail, 
uh, different than a female, products like this, and so on. So we're going to get some fun stuff down the line. But again, we, we will get those in a while. So more things that you want to learn more about is how to create the store. That's something I'll, I'll, I'll be preparing more content around. How to integrate shipping and delivery. I would love to answer that, but well, that will need more time because one, it needs to be available in the region, which is in a, a, you know, in a week or two or three. Second, the courier that you use needs to say, okay, I need to add this as a channel. And then what most of them I know they do is like, let's wait and see if this Facebook thing is going to pick up. And you know, that wait and see could be six months, could be a year. So they have to do it from their side. So that's a bit of a concern, but I will keep my eye on that. Um, how to process payments? Yes, that's going to be a little bit tricky because there, there's dependency on what Facebook will do. There's dependency on what the banks will allow. There's dependency on a, on a bunch of different things. So uh, we, have to, we have to see. And I'm also concerned what the banks will need to do because Facebook will likely accept, allow people to have their own personal accounts uh, to collect money. We need to see if banks locally would allow people to transfer money from that to their own personal accounts or you need a, you need a, a work account or not. So those are, one of the, those are some of the hiccups to look at. Um, eligibility requirements to open a store. Yes, I'll look more into that as well. I'll look more into that as well uh, when, uh, uh, when, that, uh, when that shows up. So for those of you who signed up to the webinar, um, I'll be sending this by you. So when you signed up, you gave us permission to email you. So we're, we're going to email you. Uh, the, the presentation, a copy of this presentation to keep with you uh, for your records. Uh, and I'm doing this every Tuesday. So every Tuesday, 4.30 p.m. UAE, I'm doing a set of topics. I'll be focusing a lot on Facebook shops because it's a, it's a heavy topic. But, uh, but I'm, I talk about many different topics about how to acquire customers, um, the struggles of building a business, how to hire, a business process for scale. So, you know, things that are related to, to your business. So I'm doing this every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. UAE. And also on Instagram, I share a bunch of stuff related to work. So if you're looking for things related to food and nightlife and fun things to do around your city, I'm not the right account for that. You have hundreds of other accounts to follow. If you're looking at what are things that you need to do to improve your business, what are things to think about when hiring, when building business process for scale, how to scale your business, problems of a business, uh, I'm your guy for that. All right. Um, thank you guys for coming in. And thank you for asking your questions. If you have uh, any, any further questions, feel free to, to DM me on, on Instagram. Uh, or or uh, when, when, when we send the email, uh, you can reply to that email. I email that. And uh, I'm here every Tuesday at 4.30. Good to talk to you guys. Thanks.